our central command post. Here, we will control and monitor the final phase of destruction and disorientation amongst our enemies. At the very time when it is most needed, this dependence of blind faith of the entire community Gentlemen, we will instigate a series of incidents which in the short term only will produce mass confusion and even greater political and economic chaos. These efforts will culminate in Operation Apocalypse, an exercise designed to immobilize the so-called democratic Western world. It will be devastating. An unseen army attacking one of the most vital elements of life itself. People will be terrified and outraged. Many will die. The government will be blamed for its inability to protect the people. As politicians fall, our people will take their places with assurances that they have the knowledge to prevent further loss of life and to restore stability and order. We have already made considerable inroads into the police force, the military and government, setting the stage to destroy what little credibility remains within their ranks, clearing the way for new leadership among our supporters, namely Winston Gross. I am honored. I look forward to the task in the sure knowledge that I shall be guided and inspired by your vision. Head of Vries! Our followers alone will have access to and the knowledge of how to use the antitoxins required. When will this final phase take place? Operation Apocalypse will start in 12 days time on the 13th at 4 p.m. The capitulation of Great Britain is just the foundation stone in our construction of a new world order. The great prize, gentlemen. America. Sieg! Hey! Sieg! Hey! Sieg! Hey! So, it'll be back to America soon. Will your husband go along with it, do you think? Of course. He'll go along with anything I want. <laughs> yes. You do have that effect. Do I? Do I still have that effect on you? Why do you say that? Do you doubt my love for you? Well, I happen to know your former wife was here yesterday. Briefly. On business. To get instructions. She was gone before you arrived. But, Frederick, why did you have to involve her in this? She's at the center of their operation. She has all the information. I hope you won't let her come between us and ruin everything we have together. Oh, you know, I could be a real troublemaker if I wanted to. <laughs> We're just using her. In a few days, she'll be expendable. This is exactly what I was talking about, Mr. Sorensen. You represent the government. As ambassador, I am perceived by the media as the local spokesman for the entire United States government. They make you look stupid. I look like an imbecile when I am asked for comments, and I don't know what to say because you haven't filled me in! Darling! I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to lose my temper like that. A little anger might earn you a lot of respect. I wish something would. Every time I try to find out what's going on, they draw in the wagons and they freeze me out. Frightened little men protecting their jobs. You'd be in a stronger position if you requested a transfer back to Washington, where the big boys are. But I just told Washington I wanted my assignment on that extended because I thought that's what you wanted. Forget what I want. I can't stand the way these people are treating you. Let's see how well they play their power games with you when you're across the Atlantic. You know, I have an old friend there who might be able to help you. Oh? Who's that? No one you know. Yes. It's time to set our sights on America.